What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Now, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, but but before you do anything, go to that like button, hit that subscribe button for your boy, and also turn on post notifications and share the video with other people. Cause this right here is a crazy important video that a lot of people are gonna wanna know how to do. So you know how they took our All Star team up. You know they got All Star team up in 2K22 and current gen, but they took it out of next gen. But here's the thing, they really didn't take it out, they just changed the format for it. But you have to make it up your own way, but you see we found a way to do it. I don't know if other people know the way, but you know, a lot of people do not know this. And a lot of people still want to play All-Star Team Up. So, like I said, if you want to play All-Star Team Up, share this video with other people so they can know how to play it too. It's like a bootleg way, but you know, it's still kind of like All-Star Team Up, and it's still fun because it's still the same thing. Not going to lie. But the only thing I don't like about this is you can't change the difficulty. The difficulty is what makes people mad. I'm not going to lie. It's been making us mad. The reason I say it's been making us mad because, I mean, the stuff that goes in in this game is crazy. The whites between that and Sniper and other things is just ridiculous. You, every, if you open, you're going to hit the shot. Like, I don't, if you miss it, it's going to be very hard to miss because Sniper really kicks in. I don't know why, but if you get any all-time team, which we usually do, we're not using regular teams. Even with regular teams, for real, for real, the shot has a good 60 to 70, maybe 90% chance of going in. With Sniper, it's crazy. So if you get all-time teams, if you shoot that open shot, like with the Warriors, it's probably like 99% chance of going in. If you time it right or if you time it wrong, it's a good chance it's going to go in. It's just ridiculous. But, I mean, it's a still fun way to play. It's still challenge your teammates, you know. Me and my teammates, me and my friends, we always play this, you know. We got to get a little. <laughs> if, if it ain't no beef between us while we playing this, it ain't really no battle, you know. But, you know, us, we always talking crazy. Like, I should stream the stuff we be talking in this chat, but I'm not going to lie. It gets too crazy. <laughs> we be saying some disrespectful stuff to each other. But the reason or how you want to start this lobby is, first, you want to go to play now. Then I listen to these steps. Like I said, you want to go to play now. You want to click R3 on your controller or RT with the right stick in on Xbox. I know how it is. I used to be an Xbox player too. We always be Xbox players, but we switch over to PS5 because we want to, you know, get a new experience. Try to play the best of the best on PlayStation, which they're not really the best. They, they, I, you know, they, I, we, I ain't seen no comp yet, but it's alright though. Like I, like I said, click RT, R3. R3 on PlayStation, RT on Xbox, click the right stick in, invite all your teammates, but no, before you invite all your teammates, you get on one side, like if you want to play on the right side or the left side, it really don't matter which side you get on, but first try to invite everybody on your team to one side, so like for instance, me, I would go to the right side and then I would invite my teammates to the right side first, invite your teammates first and make sure they're on the right side, so it'll work perfectly. Then you invite the other opposing team to the game and make sure they're on the left side. Now once four people join, it's going to disappear. The names are going to disappear. Now if the names disappear, they're still in the lobby and in the game. Like if they can change the team on the left side, like as you see right now. If everybody in the lobby cannot change the team, it is not going to. I'm going to say this again. If everybody in the lobby cannot change the team, make sure everybody on the team or on each side can change the team if they cannot change the team it is not going to work so like i said first invite everybody make sure your team gets on one side the other team gets on one side now once they can change the team and edit the lineup you should be okay but if it doesn't work if after a few times try making the person that needs to leave the lobby leave if they the person that can't change the team make them leave the lobby and try to invite them again now if they name are still invisible and they can't go left or right or they can't change the team and it still happens they make them leave the lobby again now if this keeps occurring where they can't change the team if they can't change the team it's just not gonna work at all but if they cannot change the team now if their names are invisible that's okay the names is gonna go invisible after four people join that is just gonna happen but just make sure you can change the team. Like everybody, just go one by one. Make sure each person can change the team. Now, if they can't, it's a problem. But like I said, now if this problem continues happening over and over again, now once y'all got, now once you press start, 
go and you can go to edit lineups now if the lineups are different and everybody sees a different lineup like for example everybody on the right side with the okay see now we would edit the lineups now if they can't edit the line like you about to see right now well right now they're editing the jerseys right now i don't know why but you know they want to get different colors but you see right there with the editing screen now if the players now if everybody in the lobby sees the same lineup it's gonna work now if everybody or one person sees a different lineup from everybody else is going to kick them out the lobby the game is not going to work it'll let y'all start the game pick the players but as soon as the game starts it's going to kick that person that sees the different team or the different starting lineup now if that happens everybody has to restart their 2k and start again i'm going to say this again if somebody in the, if only one person sees a different starting lineup in this screen right here as you're seeing right now you have to restart your 2k everybody in the lobby you have to start again now this does work after a few attempts it really shouldn't take a few times but like i said if you want to really master it you the person that's starting the lobby invite their teammates first make sure they choose their side that they want to be on the left or the right doesn't matter just choose your teammate side or one person or one person from your team can get on one side and the other team can get on another side it doesn't really matter just make sure you guys can choose the teams and everybody can change the teams if everybody cannot change the teams it is not going to work you want to make that person lead the lobby again like i said previously they want to lead the lobby invite them again now if that doesn't work either after a few times just restart the lobby have somebody else start it up now you see we tested it out a few times and we finally got it right where you see you can see certain people names but everybody could change the team the key to mastering this is just make sure everybody can change the team if everybody can change the team you should be all right but make sure they all see the straight line of it should work the only time people really don't see the different the same lines as everybody is after we play the first game now after the first game it might glitch one of y'all and if it glitch one of y'all everybody got to restart the 2k like i've said previously now you see it right now we're trying to see if it works and you see we got through the screen you see this right this is walking proof that we did it right and everybody can choose their players at first we was just messing around we was trying to see if it was gonna work but as you can see right now it's about to be a three on three my name is, you can't see the other two people's name but you'll see it while we're in the game i'm gonna actually show y'all the game but as you can see right now you see it's three on three right now this is bootleg also our team up now we found a way <laughs> we found a way somehow now another thing i'm gonna tell y'all now if y'all want to play this the big key in this is trying to make sure y'all have good power forwards and centers because that's what really changes the game those two positions with the cpus with a pot with a power forward in the center they will change the game now as y'all can see this is 2k22 now we're seeing if everything work out right now now as y'all can see right now y'all see right now it's 3v3 we're about to do the jump ball right now now this is proof that this method works it works you see i'm in the lobby now you see the other two people running around you see their names under their feet this is not cpus this is not fake now you see me i'm pulling up with a stupid close shot but it's all right though we just trying to test it out we was too happy i ain't gonna lie we were so happy this work we was going crazy in the party now we we play a two three zone in this i don't know what everybody else do but we gonna play a zone while we playing off our team up you're not just about to run run on us i don't know what y'all think this is but well how you and your friends play it now look when i told y'all about that sniper there you go right there kicking in already i don't know how you and your friends play it but me and my friends we gonna play a zone in this one okay you better try to score your best bucket and that's what really makes us better i ain't gonna lie you try playing a zone on all star team up <laughs> with cpus bro and you have to find a way to get an open space bucket like that's crazy that's how we play it but hey man it worked for every it worked for us and we we some good players and we make the best players look bad well some of them not all of them some of them they think they're not so we just make the best players look bad if you don't believe me look on my channel just scroll down a little bit it's on my channel i might not post it this year but last year i was going crazy i was coming off everybody here. i ain't gonna lie you know that 2k21 was bad it's all right though but as you can see like i said about this tutorial this is a walking testament that this is working all up green bean with cp3 the midget hey man I was going crazy with CP3 in this gameplay. I ain't gonna show y'all the full gameplay because I know y'all ain't wanna see that. I just wanna show y'all that this method that I'm gonna release, because a lot of people don't know how to play it on next gen, does work. Now you see right now we're playing 3v3. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
share the video with other people. Please share this video with other people so everybody in the community can know. And if they want to play also our team up. But yeah, man, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Please share this video and peace. I'm out.